Hello. So today I'm going to talk about The Power by Naomi Alderman. Winner of the Women's Prize for Fiction in 2017, this book has been sat on my shelf for quite some time. I don't know why, it just kept getting pushed back further and further down the pile until it eventually just ended up on my bookshelf and I pretty much completely forgot about it. It wasn't until the Amazon Prime TV show started popping up and being advertised that I re-remembered I've got that book on my shelf and I quickly put it back into circulation. Based around themes of power, ofs, corruption, manipulation, violence, sexism, gender reversals, revolution and social change. A science fiction novel that's told from the perspectives of four characters. We have Roxy, Ali, Tunde and Margot. Young women around the world are starting to display this power. It's an electricity that comes out of their bodies, out of their hands, their fingertips. And it is also apparent that these young women are starting to be able to control this power. So this novel follows our four main characters as this power and the gender balance starts to tilt around the world. Roxy slowly uses her power to take over her family crime business. Ali uses hers to escape her abusive foster parents. She hears a voice in her head telling her to go off into the world and start her own religion. Tunde is at college and it appears to be that he is one of the first people to start noticing this power. Women using, controlling and manipulating this power. So he starts documenting it. And as the novel progresses, he becomes the go-to guy for all things power related and ends up becoming a journalist working for the major media outlets and documenting everything he finds. Margot is a mare and a mother of two, or I think it's two kids, but we mainly hone in on one of her children, Jocelyn. Using the power's impact on society, Margot starts navigating her way up the political ladder. So what we're getting throughout this novel and our characters' perspectives is this very wide arc of how this power is spreading and taking over the world. It's social, political and religious impact. On paper, this novel is so my cup of tea. I mean, a sci-fi novel that is exploring the philosophical, political and societal changes from multiple cultural perspectives. Yes, please. Sign me up. I'm in. However, I really, really, really did not like this book. I know, and it's had so much praise. It's won major awards. People absolutely love it. Margaret Atwood recommends it. <laughs> I really, I really didn't like it. So I am going to do my list of likes and dislikes as I always do, but I'm going to start with the things I disliked first, as I normally start with the things I liked, but I just need to get out of the way the massive issues I had with this book. And the main thing, the main thing I disliked, and everything hangs on this one thing. This entire book hangs on the one thing I really, really didn't like. The characters are awful. They are so, so bland. So boring. And it is all completely down to the stylistic writing choices of the author. Like, you are given zero connection, zero depth to any of them. It is all completely and utterly surface level. I could not connect to one single character in this book on an emotional level at all whatsoever. It's just all so matter of fact. Now it's clear that that writing style is done intentionally. Of course it is. The book in and of itself, the thing that we are reading, is meant to be some form of a historical document that's just ticking off the events as they happened. I do get that. But it's that choice that ultimately leaves me feeling really, really cold and really not caring at all. There is so much exciting stuff that happens in this book, and I really, really wanted to be engaged. I was, there was a part of me that was forcing myself to be like, and then this is happening, and now here we're going, and we're traveling here, oh, and we're getting this perspective. But the problem was, I couldn't care about any of it because the way the characters was written was so one dimensional. I needed an in, I needed a crumb, and this novel gave me nothing. Also, I feel like the book's overall message is a little bit pants. Now, if I'm interpreting this book correctly, what it's ultimately trying to say is that power corrupts and that history will always be written by people with a vested interest in that power. Well, of course, we are living in that world right now. The history of our world is written by men. So what the book is trying to say is that if women had physical power over men, then history would have been written by women. So I had to read 330 pages of a novel that told me that regardless of gender, power corrupts. Yes. Yes, it does. That's really, really obvious. 
Everyone knows that, right? I also kind of really disliked how the novel assumes that if women gained power, they would just start acting and behaving like men and like raping and assaulting and things like that. And I mean, sure, those things most likely would happen. This novel does go to some dark places, but I don't believe that all women everywhere would automatically start just behaving like men, which is what this book seems like it is trying to say, especially where it goes. I just don't buy it. Another thing I didn't like, and I probably am reading a bit too far into this, I mean it is just a sci-fi novel, but I didn't like how Western countries didn't revolt in the same way as Eastern countries. So in majority white countries, overthrowing the patriarchy was done in a much more civilised and organised way, whereas countries like Saudi Arabia, it was all out fucking riots and mayhem. Now I know why the novel is doing this. In countries that have things as abhorrent as the male guardianship system in which a man controls a woman's life from birth till death, well sure, women in those countries, given the power, would fucking cause chaos. Because fuck those systems, let's write a novel in which Saudi women get to fuck up men and overthrow those abhorrent systems. I get it, I'm down, I'm in. But I just don't think it would be all civilised and polite in the majority white countries. I mean, has the writer met Americans? The capital riots? Uh, do you know what I mean? It just, there was a balance there and that balance felt odd. I am aware that the capital riots happened way after this book was written and published. I just said it in the spur of the moment, but I hope you get what I'm trying to say. As previously mentioned, this is a sci-fi novel and I think I am unfortunately reading far too deep into this, taking everything that's happening and really looking at it through a political lens, when in essence it's just a sci-fi novel that's exploring things that could happen in these different places. So it could be on me that one, it could be my issue that I'm having, but yeah, I just, I don't know, with the praise that this has been given, I think I started reading it in a much deeper, richer way than I should have been. I am also aware that I am a man. I know, who would have thought it? And that I might not at times be able to see past my gender, so that this novel might be saying things that I'm just not getting, or I'm just not understanding, because I've been raised in a way, or my, my view of the world isn't allowing me access to those things because of my gender. I'm aware that that could be happening with this novel, and if so, if that is the case, feel free to tear me to shreds in the comments. Let me know, educate me, and I'll get on board. But from who I am as a human being and what I'm reading, I, I just don't, there's a lot of stuff in here I just don't agree with at all. But for a novel that had so much potential to explore gender in a really fun sci-fi way, it is mainly its one-dimensional characters that is really damaging this book for me. But let's stop there. That's all, that all got a little bit intense, didn't it? <laughs> That all got a little bit intense. Let's stop there and let's talk about the good things in this book because there are good things in this book. Uh, and yeah, and I'm going to highlight them because you might look at those good things and say, oh yeah, no, I'd still like to read that or I would still like to watch the show. So yeah, here are some of the things that I liked. I thought the world building worked really, really well in this novel. I liked all the logistics of what it was exploring. It zoned in on the very minute, small things that this power change would do to the really big and religious aspects of what the power's doing. And I loved how it, it flitted between that balance really, really well, giving me a really rich and overall well-rounded sense of how this power would affect the world. I thought that was done really, really well. I really liked how structurally the book was set out. I feel like it balanced the jumping between characters really nicely. Every time I felt like I had spent a bit too much time with one character, it would shift gears and move to another character's journey. At no point did I feel like it was leaning too far one way or the other. Yeah, it felt well balanced and I got a good kind of amount of time with each character. Plot-wise, I actually really enjoyed where this book went. It has twists, it has turns, it keeps building and building and building, and as said, it's really well balanced. So the journey I actually went on, I was really digging. But yeah, it's I'm gonna sound like a broken record, I really am, but it is just how badly the characters was written, how little I cared about the characters, and my inability to connect to the characters in any way whatsoever that made everything that was good about this book not really matter at all, because I just... I just didn't want to go on that journey. I was just a bit bored. It's only 330 pages and it, it, at times it felt a lot longer. Well, I don't think this review is gonna make me look very good. <laughs> a man in his 30s hating on a book that was written by a woman that has three main protagonists about women rising to power. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't have to this hate me on this book is doing me any favours. But I have to be honest with my review and my thoughts and feelings, otherwise where's my integrity? And I also feel like the gender of the author, the gender of the characters has nothing to do with it. This book was bad because its characters were flat and boring. That's it. I really hope I'm not alone on this one because I have heard nothing but love and praise for this book. And yeah, I did not like it at all. So I hope I'm not alone. Please let me know if you didn't like this book. Let me know I'm not alone. It would make me feel a little bit better. I'm not a monster. But yeah, so I'm going to give this book uh, 1.5 stars out of 5, maybe 2. There's a lot of things to kind of like in it, but I wasn't able to like them as much as I wanted to because of its very glaring issue. So yeah, have you read this book? What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all on the next one.